<sighs> Alright, I don't know why it keeps showing this stars enabled thing. Ignore the stars. Only hit the stars on, on like our friend yesterday, tomorrow's post, because she's does a lot of teaching and stuff. I'm here to sell stuff, not to well, you'll learn, but I'm not here to do crafts with you guys. That is yesterday, tomorrow's, and she does beautiful stuff, so if you haven't already, be sure to follow her. So all you have to do is, there's no registration, just comment sold and the item. Um, we give people a few minutes to get in here. I didn't have a chance today to post much other than that skeleton closet. Um, I did get, we have a lot of stuff for tonight though. Right now I'm still showing only two people and I know with the days getting, the light staying out longer, I don't expect people to be on as much because of this weather. So don't forget, if you're watching the replay, to reach out to us through direct messages to purchase. Anything that didn't sell during the live, we can still purchase it. Ooh, that was an interesting green blip that went across my screen. Um, let's see, eight people are on. So again, if you've never joined us before, it's super easy. There's no registration. All you do is say, the screen just flashed again. Um, hey, Carrie. Hey, Beth. All you do is say sold and the item. You have to tell me what item it is because there's, there's, I don't know if everybody else has seen. I keep getting like green on my screen. I, I know Optimum's having problems in this, this area tonight. So as long as you guys are seeing it okay, um, and I'm seeing comments, and there it goes again. Weird. Okay. Okay, good. So it's just here, as usual. It's just here. It's just me. Um, the camera's working fine. It just sometimes can be the computer. So we're going to start in. Again, you just say sold and what the item is. We do ship most of the items. I try to pull things that are shippable. And again, if you're watching the replay, uh, just message us to purchase anything that didn't sell. I'm going to start with a lovely piece of crystal. It does have some weight to it. This is from Picking Wildflowers. It's just seven twenty. Um, I don't see a maker's mark on it. It does have good weight, and it has that pretty ting to it. So just seven twenty for the pretty crystal gravy or saucer, whatever you want to use it for. It's a very pretty piece of glass there. Now I grabbed this guy because. Hey, Miss Pock, Cynthia. I grabbed this guy. He's just, it's, the price is right. It's just got a little cosmetic flaw. A teacup has cracked on the bottom. Now she's got this, you can see it's cracked on the bottom, but it doesn't go through. And because of that, it's made in England. It is just $2.10 for the, uh, hey, Kathy, for the, uh, China, the Bone China Made in England cup and saucer set. Like I said, it does say cracked on the bottom, but it doesn't go through. And because of that, it's just $2.10 for that pretty little cup and saucer set. Great for a display. Yeah, this thing keeps doing some weird things on this side. Um, also from Picking Wildflowers, and this is marked, you kind of have to turn it to see. It's marked Bermuda Pottery. So, and it's this blue-gray glaze on it. It's five inches tall, and that's $9.60 for this piece of pottery. And it's glazed inside as well, so it is quite usable. It's a nice little piece of pottery right there. These from Redreamable. These are marked Hull W3, uh, W30. I have Miss Merceal for the uh, Bermuda pitcher. Such an unusual piece. Now this is a pair of matching hole. I was going to give you a light there so we see that. They are hole pottery and they do match. And they are for the pair. Yeah. Let's see, it wants to keep flipping on me. The pair is 28. And they're this pretty green, nice and vintage. They hold a standard taper candle in there. And they are both marked hole pottery. And they're in remarkable shape. It's like a lily pad with a lily flower on it. Um, so is it the, did you want the cream, the pottery, the um, Bermuda pitcher too, or just the the, t the candle holders? Which look like they just came off the factory floor. Floor. All right, so I have you for the whole. Just let me know, um, Debbie, on the,
Just let me know on that picture. I've never had these, kept these in a china cabinet. Hello, Jackie. Now, remember, this is from um, Burning Sensation Antiques. Yes, okay, so both pieces, okay. And he gets his copper and brass so shiny, it looks like it's reproduction or brand new. It is not. He just does such an amazing job on that. Carpenter, he does the brass and the copper amazing, as well as rewiring the lamps that he brings in. So, handyman all around. This is from Burning Sensation Antiques. It's six and a half inch tall. Copper coffee pot. Has this really cool wood handle. $16. Has the glass percolator top. And it has the insides. So it's a cute little one. And that is $16 for that cute little copper percolator. With just the glass knob. It does come out for cleaning. Oh, and has a wood handle. So that's a really nice little primitive piece right there for $16. Now in the stained glass, I did find a cute little slag, slag glass with stained glass. Hey, Barbara. And it's got the soldered pieces. It's a little planter. And you have like a milky glass piece on the bottom. It is 5 by 5 by 5 And that is $14.40. And that is from our vendor, Redreamable. So very pretty on that one. From our vendor, this has some weight to it. This is from On Second Thought. The cast iron candlestick in a really funky little shape. It does have some weight to it. Hey, Linda, and that is $9.60. And it looks like two guys staring at each other with their hats on, like snakes. It's like little snakes staring at each other. And that does hold the taper candles, and that is, well, hello, Lynn, welcome. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Everybody will help you out here in the chat room, and I'll answer any questions. All you do is say sold and which item it is that you want. If you're local, you just come and you pick up here. Or if you need it shipped, since it is your first time, I'll need you to DM us afterwards. I need your zip code just so we can get you that PayPal invoice. And you can pay via PayPal, or you can call during business hours with a credit card, and we put it right in the machine if you're not local. If you're local, you pick up and you pay cash or however you wish to pay. So... So windy out, I keep thinking something is trying to get in. That door rattles so much with this wind. Now this is from CJ's Finds. Now remember, CJ is leaving us the end of this month, so anything that gets picked up that you, that you choose, you have to pay before the end of the month for her because she needs that check. We want to have that all settled for her. So this is for the set. It's an aluminum flip drip stove top espresso coffee maker. And I get, um, oh, I guess you changed the tops. I have no idea how this works. Anyway. She's now half off, so for the two pieces of really cool old aluminum, it's $10 for the two. So I, I would say more decorative than anything, but if you have an old Hoosier or, you know, your kitchen's 1950s or older and you want pieces from that time, these are perfect for that. Cute planter, too. Now, $10 for the pair, that's just $5 each, so feel free to play with those, paint them. I grabbed this. I don't know the measurements on any of it. You can see it's miscellaneous ribbon strips from vendor Jazzy Junk, and that's just $4.80, and there's a whole bunch of different pieces on there. If you do any kind of crafting, junk journaling, or just put it out like this, it's this cute little display in your vignettes of just a bunch of different ribbons. Now let's see. I have my calculator up for the numbers that I cannot do in my head. All right, so this is from the Hip Chick, and she is a 30% off vendor. So this becomes, she's marked it down from 50 to 35, and we take the 35% uh, off of that 35, so it becomes 24.50. This is a Weller, and it is, it has a lot of crazing on it. It is a half a dog wood flower. It's marked V4 and Weller. So you can see there is some crazing. Um, I don't see any chips or cracks. And that's a nice little piece of Weller pottery. So that's the 1920s, 30s on that. And you can see there are there is crazing that has gotten a little schmutzy over the years. Now, this is a little, he says colonial. This is a Toby Bell. And he's 640, but he's missing, he's made in Japan. He's missing his original clapper. Somebody put 
a safety pin in there that seems to do the job. He's just very cute looking and he's just 640 for the made in Japan vintage Toby style bell with an, not the original clapper in there. So cute little guy right there. Still rings though. Whoever came up with using a safety pin for that, that works well. Also from the Hit Chick, I grabbed these clear Irish coffee cup, uh, Libby. They consider them Irish coffee cups. And for the pair, it's $7. They have the pedestal and you have the handle on them. And that's 7 for the pair from the Hip Chick. Now, if you're watching this afterwards and you wish to uh, purchase anything, if you can also get the vendor name just so I, I remember what to look for. I grabbed this from our auntie's attic. It's a small blue enamel funnel. It does have a lot of chipping. It was used lovingly, and that is $9.60. And that is... I don't have the measurements on it, but it's a pretty blue with a cream color inside. You can see some staining on that. That's very cute. From the Bronx Man Cave, he is 25% off. So this decanter would be 18. It has the stopper. Actually, it has like it has a reamer style uh, stopper. When you see the orange juice reamers, a lot, that's exactly what it looks like on the top. I'm not seeing any chips. And I did look, but I did not see any maker's marks on it. But it is a nice piece of glass. And that is just 24. You got it, Miss Merceal. Have you for the Weller and the little man? I thought you'd like him. All right, so this is definitely going to be at least two boxes for you. We want to make sure we get this all out to you safely. That Weller piece looks beautiful with those whole candlesticks. All right, I grabbed this from our vendor, Lazy Q Ranch. It is a, a vintage Foley sifter for $4.80. It's pretty clean inside, actually. That's a really good price. You have the Foley Made in USA. Again, a great little, uh, just a decoration for your kitchen if you want. You can use it, clean it up a bit, and it still goes. Still working quite well, and that's a really good price on that. Just four eighty for the vintage Foley sifter. Also, from on second thought, I have this galvanized, modernized with an enamel finish. This is not old, but it's made to look old. Uh, farmhouse vase, she calls it for twenty eight, and that's just tin with the handles on it. Not old. You got it. I got the pox for the sifter. Ooh, excuse me. I'm drinking apple juice. No, it hasn't turned. I uh, had a really good lunch today from the lake house. Had their avocado, I forget what kind of cheese, and tomato grilled cheese for lunch today. And then tomorrow through Saturday from 3 to 10, next door at the crossroads is open. So Don will probably get, he likes to get on Friday, he gets the uh, Philly steak from them, which he said is fantastic. And then I like to get their vegetable panini. Tomorrow will probably be um, Firehouse Pizza for their lunch specials because their lunch specials are amazing. You get so much food at a good price right down here at Firehouse. So I grabbed this also from uh, CJ's Finds. I had not seen this before, but there are some splits in this portion of the where your little candle would sit for this guy. The glass part looks fine. It's only ten, it's uh, ten dollars now because she is half price. So it is in as found condition. You do have the splits, but it still sits in there fine. And you just put your little candle in there if you want to, or just put it out as a decoration. So it's a really pretty piece to put out. You have a lot of vintage treasures like that that you like to decorate around with. I also grabbed this from CJ's Finds. This is another half uh, price piece, a nine inch tall art glass vase for just $7.50. It has a slight poncel on the bottom. But I'm thinking this is the mass-produced kind of made-in-China art glass, and that's just $7.50 that you get at, like, Home Goods. Still a pretty piece. It's got a lot of good weight to it, and the price is right. We have the art mannequin, the uh, drawing figurine for $12. Um, 
And Donnie, I have one of these, and I'll come in, and Donnie has him doing dabbing and stuff. You know, he'll be standing in, like, positions like this, and I'm always finding him in weird little positions. My little drawing figurine guy, I just think they're cool. And that's just $12, and that one works pretty well, and it's just wood with little metal in there. He's not super old or anything, but they're just real fun to decorate with, and like I said, if you have a... Yeah, I, I'm sure even an adult would, because my dad used to take our... We had doll houses, and he used to take the figures, and he would stick them in toilets and all in the, in the doll house and stuff. So I'm sure adults would play with that thing too. You'd find them all over in weird positions. This is from Pickin' Wildflowers. It is a seven and a half by six and a half by six and a half small wooden weather carrier, and it, it, this is wood, and then it has these three little plastic eggs inside with like a little faux nest for eleven twenty, and it's this pretty color. So that's really cute to decorate with. It's from what I'm seeing online from other groups and stuff that I see. These are, that's very popular, the bird nests this time of the year. A lot of people decorate just for spring with all the fun spring colors. This is a nice old Virginia Dare wine bottle. And this is from our vendor, uh, Burning Sensation Antiques. It is an embossed bottle. It was, goodness. 1.38, no, 1 and 3 eighths pints. And that is $12 for that embossed glass bottle. You can see it's got some good height to it. And it's American Winery on here. It's a lot of nice details on that. From our vendor, the Lazy Q Ranch, I have a cute, now the stand is plastic, but the egg itself is ceramic and must be from West Germany. Yeah, it's global. It's a Goebel 1987 uh, ceramic bird egg on a little plastic stand, and he is just $4.80 for the Goebel yellow collectible egg. And that is from Lazy Q. From Andover Junction, I have a nice little clear glass cruet for $6.40. It does have a stopper with it. I don't see any marks on it. Okay, from Betty's Treasures, this is as is. There's a tiny little chip right here. It's a cute little vintage bear bank, and it says little bear bank in case you didn't know. And he's sitting in like a little barrel, and he's licking his chops there like he's gotten into some honey. And it does have a stopper, and that's just six forty. That's from bear, uh, Betty's Treasures. Very cute. Now, these are popular back in the day, and this one is Mark Florin on the back. This is from our vendor, Belmont Farmhouse, and she's not used tape. She just wrapped it around him. It's a bum parker for just $6.30. So you just put that there, and you park your gum in there. I'm going to put this tag back on there so it doesn't get lost. From our vendor on the stage, grab, uh, good to go. I grabbed this, and I'm going to come around so you can see the details. At first, when I looked at it, I thought it was just a little made-in-Japan pre-war tchotchke, but then I looked closer at it, and it's definitely European, and he is older, and he's just $4. And what I find so interesting about this, so I just want you to see. This tip thing here, the little like hose or whatever he's carrying, that's metal. And you can see here's our European mark. So that was Austria or Germany. Woo! I almost took the camera down with me. Oh, thank you, Linda. So yeah, so he is just four dollars and I'm gonna say I, I would lean more towards Germany and uh, that would be uh, the early 1900s, late 1800s on him. Oh, yeah, thank you, Lynn. Yeah, our vendors do a pretty good job at keeping the prices very competitive. Um, so this does not have any marks. This is a new in a vintage style. This woman doing this with her face. I don't know what we're doing there. And she's just $2.80. 
Uh, it's porcelain. It's got pretty flowers on it. And uh, hello from, Con hey Brenda. And she is just $2.80. Like I said, she is not vintage. She is a little repro in the style of, uh, I guess they're trying to do a head vase or something, but I was doing weird things with her hands anyway. That's that young lady. I have this from our vendor, good to go as well. It's a child's mug, uh, Arca Rock, France. And it has a monkey playing with a yo-yo and a rabbit with a net and a duck with a bowl and a, a fox with a rifle. And that is just 480 for the interesting children's cup of anthropomorphic crazy animals. Doing some strange things on there. I think I got everything from here. We did it out in the shelf. I'm trying to clear the way for really some stuff that just came in today. This is a stained glass angel and she just stands upright. She doesn't have a candle holder or anything. That is from Andover Junction and that is 560 for the angel. Even her base is a stained glass. And she's got yellow hair there and that's just 560 for the stained glass angel. Again, if you're watching the replay, just tell me which vendor and which item. I know I have a few people that like their stained glass that are not on right now. These just came in today. These are Roseville. And this is the, I saw the pattern name, uh, Snowberry. They're Snowberry bookends. They do have some crazing. And they look like there are a couple of books that are open. And then here we have our Snowberry. And they are just amazing. They just came in and these are, I think, 76. Yeah, so 76 for the Roseville pair of bookends. You have two matching bookends, and they are marked Roseville, and these are the authentic Roseville. And like I said, there is some crazing, age crazing, which has gotten a little, you know, squishy over the years, but this is the Snowberry bookends. Um, for our Roseville collectors, we have quite a few of you out there, so I know some of you don't speak during the show, and you'll come in tomorrow and ask me, these are um, Jazzy Junk, and we'll have these in the case tomorrow. I have a cute little Anna Lee, let's see if we have a year on him, 2012 uh, bunny. And his one ear is holding these cute little wood eggs. And he is $12, and that is from our vendor, Vintage Crush. And he is a tiny. I got the big cotton tail. Very nice and clean and does have the tag. So 12 for our Anna Lee little Easter bunny there. Okay, I don't feel any chips or issues. I grabbed this because I just thought it was so unusual to find a cornucopia vase in crystal. And it's got the little feet here. And it's from uh, Burning Sensation Antiques. And it's just $6.40. And you can see when the light hits it, there's like a slight little rainbow going on in those cuts there. So, it doesn't need a little clean out on the inside. It looks like somebody probably had a little flower in there or something. But I just thought that was just so sweet and cute for just $6.40. And now, this is newer but usable. It is a two piece Martha Stewart everyday uh, light blue enamel. Soap dish made to look old, and that's also from Burning Sensation, and that's just eight dollars. So they do have it taped together, so this piece comes out, so you can clean it thoroughly. And it's just a really pretty blue with little black speckles to make it look like it's older than it is, and that's just eight dollars for that. And that's Martha Stewart every day. So for those watching us for the first time, we have a mix. It's mostly vintage, but we do have some contemporary pieces mixed in, and our vendors do keep those prices nice and sharp. So. I have this little, ah, that's why she has that on there. Um, Folsom Pottery from 1992. Interesting little creamer for $7.20. It's Clouds Creamer. And the decoration is continued inside and out. And it's just this pretty little pottery creamer. That's very pretty colors on that. Nice and springy. It's supposed to go up to 60, I think, by Friday, so. So we just had some more snow.
brought up this feels like ironstone. It's definitely a stoneware mug. There's no markings on it other than a 12 on the bottom. It's a light blue inside. It just made me laugh when I walked by because ain't it hell to be poor? And we can make you poorer by $4 if you buy the cup. So I, I just thought this was neat. It does have some good weight to it. That's from uh, Jazzy Junk and that's just $4 for ain't it hell to be poor. So. Oh, that's good. Whatever it takes to have them not do that. Yeah, there's nothing worse than when that happens. You can't do anything for the poor bird. This is also from Vintage Crush, and this is a brown bag company, brown bag cookie stamp. Carousel Animals number four. It actually has this carousel mark here. And it is a carousel bunny. And then your cookie stamp looks like that. And that is eleven twenty. So if we have anybody out here who collects brown bag cookie stamps, we have the, the bunny carousel for eleven twenty. These also just came in. They do not glow. These are from uh, Burning Sensation. When I say glow, because sometimes this color glass, it's a, it's like a custardy white, it's a milky, it's like a true milk glass. It has this milky finish to it. And there's a mark on the bottom. Oh, M-A-C-O. So these are antiseptic milk glass barbershop bottles. You get the three of them for, yeah. 1680 for the three of them. And they are marked on the bottom. I'm going to come around and see if we can't get that to show the mark. There you go. That's pretty good. That's an M and a A. I want to say PC. No, it's just MACO, it looks like. So you have these three bottles, and you get all three of them for 1680. They do have some age to them. And you have the different shaker tops. So these are antique. They're very nice. Unusual. Full wear to the caps. If they did glow, I know Don would have bought them. He's on a uranium blast kick lately, so he would have bought those. These just came in. These are the green and white restaurant wear butter pats, not March. You get three of them from Belmont Farmhouse for seven dollars. So they're very cute. Pretty color green on those. Uh, just cute to put in a little display. I know we have a lot of people that like to do little vignettes and stuff. These are always great for that. And we just had this come in. This is, I never knew Canada did fine bone china, but Canadian, they not only did fine bone fine china, it's not just fine, it is superior. Canadian superior fine bone china. Pretty little violets ring holder. Uh, three and a half inches tall from Auntie's Attic for $8. So it has them, it's a very pretty design on there. An unusual shape too for the ring holder. So you put some on and then have some laying in there if you need to. Always nice to have by your sink or your bedside to put your rings. So you're not just laying them down and potentially losing them. I grabbed this one from um, Belmont Farmhouse as well. It is a made in USA folding ruler and it's just uh, 840 and a lot of people like to make these into different shapes mostly stars or other things this one's a nice large one and you can see it folds super easy and it's also cheaper than going and buying these new in the hardware stores we found out when we went into the hardware store to get this stuff when we had our oil spill they had the folding yardsticks and they were new 15 to 20 dollars here's a nice old one for just 840 you can use it to decorate or use it for its function Got a lot of great color on that. Now this is also from Jazzy Junk. Paul's Giftwares, hand painted in, clean it with a damp cloth, Echo New York. So it's a pretty piece of milk glass and it's been hand painted and that is 960 from Echo, E-P-P-C-O, New York. So it's an unusual, nice little rectangle vanity type uh, glass tray. It does have the clear on the edges. 
And it's milk glass with hand painting on it for just $9.60. Okay, we're getting to the top shelf. I grabbed these. I cannot believe these are still here. Again, with one of these prices, though, that I have to... All right, so it's $10.40 for all three of these cute little swanky suede glasses. Here you have the blue, and it's a lady and a gentleman and another lady in a parlor. This is for all three of these. These are from... Um, Lazy Q Ranch. Now, I don't think that one was part of this set, but they do come together. This one has the little animals. You can see the little animals along the top. This one has your dogs, and then it has a rooster staring at a weather vane like, hey, why aren't you answering me? This one has kittens and bunnies. So it's a, for all three of the cute little swanky swig juice glasses, all three of them are just $10.40. A lot of times I see that for just one of the animal ones. So that's quite a good deal, and that's from Lazy Q Ranch. Now this also just came in today from Jazzy Junk. The painting on this is amazing. This is a wood jar. It does have a repair on the lid, so we want to point that out first. Because of that, she made it just $4.80, but look at that paint job on that. Just beautiful, and that's just 480 because of the repaired lid, which you really don't look, don't notice it. At first, when she brought it in, I actually thought it was redware pottery, because that's what it looks like, but it is actually wood. And that's just 480. And it does have that cute little handle. You can just display it standing like that. And the whole thing is painted, this beautiful folk art painting on that for just $4.80. All right, we're getting near the end, folks. I just have a handful, two more things left for you guys. Here we have, he's not old, he is home stoneware, oh, uh, Target. Main China, yellow, and because of that, he's just $4.80 for the yellow uh, cow creamer from Betty's Treasures. He is glazed throughout, so he is quite usable. So just $4.80 for the pottery cow. And that's just the Target brand. Very cute. Pretty color, too. Or spring that's perfect to put out and use. It is usable. And then also from Betty's Treasures. I have, he has a lot of uh, hard water stains going on in there. He was used. He's a nice old uh, rooster planter for just $7.20. Does not have a maker's mark. Most likely he is a USA pottery. And he's just green with a, the pinkish mauve comb. I don't hear any sounds to be completely intact. So we don't have any dull fuds to indicate that there's a chip on that. So he's just seven twenty dollars for that. Now is the time. If you want me to bring anything back up, let me know now. That would be... Oh, no, wait. I have two more things. Oh, my. I almost forgot. See, this is what happens every time. i got to remember. We were very, very busy today, so I was not able to set up um, everything all in one spot. So I do have some things spread out. I grabbed this. I saw this the other day. I said, I have to bring this up if it is still here. This is one of the most unusual picnic baskets that I've seen. It is uh, six inches by 12 inches by five and a half. Here's your little venting holes for your actual picnic. It is tin and it looks like wood. It's from Auntie's Attic. And that's just $12.80 for the usable tin picnic basket. And like I said, like in the unusual shape, it's smaller than usual. And you don't have to use it for that. These are great storage containers for your sewing and your other notions. And they're great for stacking. So, and I'll put that back on when I can. And if you've not had a chance yet, if you have, I hop over to our YouTube, I did visit four booths last night. So you can also shop that way. This is the other piece that I did grab. It is an easel back uh, book stand, 12 inches high by 14 inches wide. It's new vintage style. It's got this like chicken wire back, and it is just $12 from Redreamable. So I like that it's a nice easel back. This is, you always see the cookbook stands, and they always seem a little bit too small a lot of times for putting on your counter, or even next to your computer if you're doing a lot of transcript kind of things and you need something to hold your papers or a book open so that you can type and do more. It's just $12 for this really practical and nice looking book stand. So 
So that will do it for us tonight, folks. I'll be back here next Wednesday night. And um, if there's anything that you saw that you want, just direct message us. <laughs> and um, just when you're watching the replay, just make sure you, you reach out to us, direct message. Do not comment on this video. After 6.05, we are done for the night, so I will not see your comments. But thank you, everybody, for joining me, and have a wonderful evening. Good night.